Lawrence is with us. She plays a therapist treating patients with eating disorders in the new Lifetime movie, Starving in Suburbia. I have a 26-year-old patient who'll never have kids because of her anorexia. And I have a 24-year-old patient who wears dentures, thanks to her bulimia. The stomach acid, it rotted her teeth right out of her head. You're just trying to scare me. Absolutely, yes, I am. <laughs> Hannah, I've seen patients younger than you starve to death. Then you're not a very good therapist, are you? Wow. wow. Now, for you, this is way more than a movie. Certainly, as a message. Anybody who lives in this culture now recognizes that the, the obsession with our, our bodies looking a certain way, the competition to, to be the thinnest, to look the best, has overtaken so much of our, our uh, values, you know? Um, I remember growing up a, a, as a dancer, and this movie starring Laura Slade Wiggins and Emily Dumont and Isabella Mako does uh, reflect the, the culture of dance that, that mm -hmm. hasn't changed in some ways, that it is the, our bodies are our tools. But I don't think the rest of the culture, when I was young, was so focused as we are now on physical perfection. Let me and just say what, just, one word, internet. Yeah. Uh, internet, all of it. Yes. These all websites it. Right. are yes. sick. And I've, this movie was based on the, the, a, a real website, a real web community called Thinspiration, Thin also known as Thinspo. Yep. They're helping young women and men. It, it's not just the, the, the girls, it's also the guys. Stay obsessed and stay focused on numbers and ways to measure and compete so, with each other. So they other. get affirmation. And instead of people saying, no, this is not the way to go, right. they get affirmation they and get cheers. They get affirmation and, and tips like, you know, if you're malnourished and your fingernails are yellowing, paint them. If you feel hungry, take an antacid. Maybe that will help. I mean, if you smoke, smoke. I mean, terrible right. advice that these kids are able to consume right. thanks to the internet. And the idea of being healthy has really gotten so warped and I'm really proud of our filmmaker Tara Miele. I'm proud of Lifetime for for making sure that this movie does not glamorize any of it. It's 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 very disturbing but also a message of hope because there is recovery from this obsession. It is a mental illness. It, it starts yeah. out as just a sense of control and, it can get a hold and of success. You. But for some girls and I guess boys too but right. for some girls it triggers something mm -hmm. and, and and I can remember when we first really got involved with the issue of anorexia and learned the word mm -hmm. that that uh, one of the strange aspects very intelligent girls oh, not stupid girls yeah very intelligent girls straight A students would become victims good Control families and mm -hmm. obsession and perfection mm -hmm. and until you understand that your body is a tool to be lived in, not to be manipulated for some idea based on some unnatural cultural norm, um, you really, I think, as, as a young person can be susceptible. The guys are susceptible to steroid abuse yes. because they're looking at That's images right. on magazines of mm -hmm. perfect bodies. But there is no perfect body. Yeah. The perfect body for you is one that functions, that keeps you healthy, that lets you live right. life to the fullest. Let, let, let's get to you. You were a dancer, mm. and you mentioned, and it's true, I, I, I knew very few dancers who didn't go through some period of anorexia, just seemed to go along was with it. Was it just part of the game? Well, we use our bodies all the time. I don't know that anorexia was as prevalent in my generation because I think a lot of people didn't know what, that you could do that. Yes. But instead, we smoked. You that smoked, was our absolutely, all yes. The That's what we yeah. smoked right. in their cigarettes. Right, right, yeah. and so we put ourselves at terrible risk, too. But when you get old enough, and when you get informed, you do better. What is it? That's what, um, um, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the adage, if you know better, you do better. Sure. And that's what we hope this movie will share the message well, I hope people will sit better, down doing with better. their girls right. and watch this All right. Uh, by the way, congratulations. You just had a very successful run at the Pasadena yeah. Playhouse with an old coward play yeah. with Bruce Davidson. A beautiful, beautiful yeah. old coward piece. And I got yeah. a, a series coming up on Amazon called The After, Chris Carter's series. So I'm, I'm enjoying the, the range yeah. of work. I'm very grateful. Thank, Thank you, you so good. much. <laughs> Starving in Suburbia airs Saturday night, 8 o'clock on Lifetime.